it's Shantae's Way here today. So in my last video, I asked you guys if you would like to see a entire video on like the oils that I use to seal my hair and my favorite oils. And a lot of you were saying that you would love to see that type of video. So I'm going ahead and filming it today. So I just pulled out a couple of my favorite oils. These are not all the oils that I have in my house, of course, but I wanted to narrow it down to my favorite oils. And I also put Naraya's favorite oils um, um, my favorite oils for Naraya's hair when it comes to sealing her hair and I did that because I know that there are some people who strictly follow me just because they want to see tutorials and information on Naraya's hair and then I have my oils that I use for my hair because majority of you want to know that okay so the first oil that I absolutely love to seal my hair is jojoba oil Jojoba oil is my number one pick when it comes to my hair. Um, if there's one oil that I do not have in my house, jojoba oil is not it. Like I'm always st fully stocked on this stuff because it works so well. I like this oil because it's not too heavy. Um, you can literally put it on your hair and your hair will soak it up. No matter what hair type you have, most of the time jojoba oil is going to work for you because it is the closest oil to your natural oil that's already in your hair. So when I get finished applying my product, um, I just put this on and basically it'll seal in everything. For anyone who's wondering, I should have said this before, but for anyone who is wondering what it means to seal your hair, it basically means to um, just make everything stay. So basically, I like to say, think of it like when you polish your nails, you always want to put on a top coat because if you don't put on a top coat, your nails will not stay, they won't look as neat, and the polish also won't last as long, so your polish will be coming off in no time if you don't add a top coat. So that's how it works with sealing. Um, you always want to make sure that you seal your hair so that you're not putting all your products on and doing all your whole entire routine for nothing because your hair doesn't stay as long when you don't seal it. So literally, I've been using this oil the longest out of all the oils that I have. This is the first oil that I bought um, when I was natural. So it's just something that it's been a staple in my hair care routine and of course I like to switch it up and use different oils so that's where all these other ones come in but this is Bay. this is number one in my book the next oil that I like to use is sweet almond oil I love 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 this this is almost gone actually yep almost gone I love using this this to um, add to like my deep condition um, my deep conditions when I make my deep conditioners and I also like to um, add it to my to seal my hair I actually use this oil in a lot of my DIYs because in my opinion it's such a great oil to like bring everything together but I also use it to seal my hair most of the time I don't like to use it to seal my hair because it can um, weigh my hair down like my hair really doesn't do well with any other oil when it comes to sealing my hair besides jojoba oil and I'll show you guys one more oil that works good but most of the time I just use this for DIYs and but I wanted to add it to my video because it is a great oil for people who have my hair type I guess you should say, I guess I should say that you shouldn't use so much so a little bit of oil goes a long way so yeah next oil that I like to use is the beautiful curl shiny curl oil this is a mix that's made by Alafia, and I really like this because they do use really great oils to um, make their mix. Um, some of the oils that are in here is sesame, sesame seed oil, Camille, well these are essential oils, okay. Sunflower oil, coconut oil, rosemary leaf oil. I was going to put rosemary in my video, but it's an essential oil and I didn't want to confuse people. But that is a really great oil. I love, love, love rosemary. Um, yeah, so that's just some of the oils that are in here. And you would think that it would be heavy from the 
the oils I just read off. But it actually isn't a very heavy oil and I do use it to steal my hair sometimes. So I just wanted to throw that in there. In my opinion, this oil is good for hair growth. It really has shown, shown tremendous growth in my hair since I started to use this beautiful curl shining oil. And I think it's because of the sesame oil that's in it. Sesame is known for growing the hair and stimulating your scalp. So that's why I think that it's in here and it has like a peppermint smell too but yeah it's a really great oil and the ingredients are 100% natural I don't have to worry about any funny stuff I absolutely love this um, curling oil because you know some oils that are pre-made are questionable and I don't like buying them which is why I always have just straight one ingredient type of oils but this is one that I trust so I'll put it down in the description box I actually put all these oils that I'm speaking of down in the description box for you guys okay so the last oil that I like to use for my hair is argan oil um, this is mainly for when I need to straighten my hair um, I don't straighten my hair a lot I've actually only straightened my hair like one time since I've been natural and uh, but when I do straighten my hair I like to use argan oil on my ends and on my hair because that's how light it is. It's so light that if you use it on straight hair, it won't weigh it down. It's a little too light to use to seal my curly hair, I found out. Um, but it's great for when I have straight hair and I want to like do like a um, put oil on my hair, which you know, you don't want too much oil on your hair. But it's great for that. And it's also great for hair growth. Everyone knows that argan oil is excellent for hair growth. So I sometimes take my argan oil and put it on my scalp and massage my scalp with it. So that's my main uses for the argan oil. Um, like I said, I don't like to use it on my curly hair because it's just not thick enough. It's too light. <laughs> Okay, so the next oils that are my favorite are for Naraya's hair. And I only have three of them because for her hair, I don't like to try new stuff when it comes to like sealing her hair because her hair can become super, super dry. And I've already learned to just stick to what I know because that results in tangles and all of that. So I always have used these oils on her hair and I've never really stepped out of the side of the box. So that's why I only have three of them. So these are my favorite oils and these are the only oils that I use to seal her hair. The first one is olive oil. And this oil, I never, like before, I would never put this on her hair because I'm like, there's no way that someone can use olive oil to seal their hair. Like that is just crazy. This oil is way too thick. But no. <laughs> For her hair, I'll, I don't have to put a lot, you know, just put a few drips in my hand and literally I'll put that on her hair and it works for her hair. So for mine, my hair, if I put, if I even dare try to put olive oil on my hair to seal it, my hair is going to be way down so bad, like I'm not going to have any movement. <laughs> so that's where, where it comes in that every natural hair is different everybody can do different things um so the reason why i like to use olive oil because it really does give her hair a lot of shine and it really does work with um sealing her hair and making sure that she retains that nice shiny look for a couple of days um so i really really like to use this one on her hair olive oil and my favorite brand is the Braggs brand i've used other olive oils but this is the most their their olive oil is so pure and it's so like you can even tell by the color of it that it's like the it's like the real stuff so i love this so much it's my fave next oil that i have for naraya's hair and i actually like to use this on my hair as far as the ends this is jamaican black castor oil and i And I like to use this on her ends when she has like um, like twists or braids. I always seal her ends with the um, jojoba oil. I mean, <laughs> I always seal her ends with the Jamaican black castor oil. And I do it to my ends too. So this is a favorite for me and her hair. This helps with thickening the hair and make, helping it to grow longer. If you're wanting to grow your hair out and have it to get thicker, Jamaican black castor oil is your best friend. So this last oil is the one that I made and it's pretty much a combination of a bunch of oils. If you want to see 
um, that video where I made this DIY oil, I'll put it right here. And I also have a video on how I use it right here. So I'll just put both of those right there. This is my DIY growth oil. And I don't use this to seal my hair just because it has some of the heavier oils that I told you guys that I can't use on my hair. Um, but I do use it different ways and I have a whole video on that. But I use this for Naraya's hair most of the time to seal her hair. Um, the reason why I don't use it all the time to seal her hair is just because it's an oil for both of us and I just, I don't like making it all the time. I get lazy. So I try to make it stretch as long as I can. So One oil that I forgot to put into the video is coconut oil. I actually, I actually use that to pre-poo Naraya's hair. It is a really, really good oil all around. Like I have a whole video on all the things that I use coconut oil for. But as far as hair, I like to use it to detangle Naraya's hair. So coconut oil is another oil that I like to use on Naraya's hair as far as detangling. Um, it's not heavy enough to use to seal her hair, but it is a great detangling oil. And that's, why, that's my main purpose for it when it comes to hair. Okay guys, that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped someone out there. If it did, then please give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for your support and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!